that's uh, that's pretty impressive. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about plow markers, which I talk a lot about plow markers, but it's an important conversation to have, and I think you're going to find some interesting material in this video. So after you purchase your snow plow, the single most important investment that you can make in your equipment is a high-end quality set of plow markers. Traditionally in the past, we as the consumers have had a difficult time finding a good quality set of plow markers. Recently, I had a company contact me and send me out a couple set of their plow markers, which we'll be talking about in a minute, and I think it's going to be the last set of plow markers that I'll ever need. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I hate buying things twice. So if I can buy one thing and just have it last the rest of my life, that is ultimately what I'm looking for. With my Western HES, after the stock or the OEM plow markers that came with the plow broke, I was forced to go buy a new set of plow markers. Of course, it was in the middle of a snowstorm. I went down to the local auto parts store, and then being the smart little people that they are, uh, for lack of better terms, they decided to jack the prices up, which, you know, that's good business, you know, supply and demand, which I really needed them right there, so I had to pay a premium. After taxes, I probably paid about $40 for these hollow, flimsy, basic plow markers, which, let me tell you what I like about these. I like that they're very easy to see, but these are guaranteed to break. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So, I feel like I got kind of screwed there, so I'm not really happy about these plow markers. So prior to the start of this winter, I ended up replacing these markers with a basic set of plow markers, which, these plow markers definitely seem to be a little bit more robust. I, I think there might be a steel cable. I'm not exactly sure because they don't advertise what's in these basic plow markers. Uh, but it kind of feels like a steel cable in there. But the thing I dislike about these, well, there's two things that I really dislike about the basic set of markers like this. One, they're difficult to see. I've been plowing in the past couple storms, and they're very difficult to see. And on top of that, I hate that they really only come in one size. If you want taller markers, traditionally in the past, you've always been forced to go to these fluorescent hollow tube markers, but again, they're always going to break, so you're going to keep investing money in them, which I hate to do. So recently I was contacted by Winter Equipment, and they sent me out a couple of their plow markers, and I think these are going to be the last plow markers I ever need. Now, before I get into reviewing these plow markers, it's, it's really become difficult to find out who you can really trust to review products on YouTube. Uh, let me tell you, the company is not paying me a dime. All they did was send me out a set of markers for me to test. And I get to keep the markers at the end. So I'm not making any money. I just get a free set of plow markers. So I'm not really benefiting either way. I'm going to have the plow marker, so why would I make a biased review? And additionally, when the gentleman from the company contacted me, he said, whatever happens to the markers, please let everybody know, because we strongly believe that these are virtually indestructible. What it, take, what it took for them to really tear these things apart was to literally take a chain on either end of these plow markers and pull them apart with a skid steer. Alright, enough about that. Let me show you the brochure and what makes these markers different from the competition. Alright, so let's take a look at this company's brochure. First thing that I like about their brochure is they advertise what their products specifically are for. So these products are for highway applications, so DOT plows, plowing cities, local streets, and then the residential contractor. And I like that they advertise that these are virtually indestructible, so I have a good feeling about these. So they have a strong metal base, which I'll give you a closer look at the base of the plow markers in a minute, but it looks very robust. I like that you have that high visibility orange outlining the marker. So these markers are just as easy to see as the hollow uh, orange tube markers, which broke on me. They're reinforced with a 3 8 inch galvanized steel cable which I love that it's galvanized because galvanized is much less likely to corrode than basic steel. Uh, and the overall diameter of it is three quarters inch. And here's the other thing that I really love about these markers. And I think I said it earlier in this video, with these basic steel cable markers, they really only come in a 22 inch length. But with these markers from Warner Equipment, they come in 24 inch, 30 inch, 36 inch, and 48 inch. So I really like that they come in multiple sizes and they have that steel cable in there. So I'm going to have fun testing these out. One other great thing about buying these markers, when you buy them, they even send you out a pack of grade 8 hardware to mount your marker onto your plow. I mean, one other company sends you out grade 8 hardware like that. So, so now I want to show you a comparison between the traditional tube marker, which has nothing inside that's hollow, 
and the winter equipment marker. I mean, you can just tell right there how robust and strong this base is. Also, another thing I'd like to note upon, this is the winter equipment marker and this is the hollow tube fluorescent marker. Look at the difference in the thickness between the orange material. And then if we compare the base to a basic steel marker, you can tell that the winter equipment still is a bit thicker and a bit more robust. All right, now I'd like to get into some testing of these markers. But before we get into testing, what are we testing for? Well, let's review. In my opinion, there are two reasons why plow markers break. One of them is from impact. So whether you know your plow marker clips a tree or your plow trips forward and slams the ground and comes back up real quick, you know that impact on the ground or impact on, a, on an object or that quick jolt of force, that could break your markers. And the other possibility is if there's some type of internal damage, such as water getting inside the tube freezing, and then a light tap, or, or maybe just the water expanding so much that it will actually crack the housing, which I heard does happen on these hollow tube markers. So I believe the most efficient way to test these is to take a set, we'll take the caps off, and additionally I have a hollow tube marker, which I'm gonna take the cap off this one too. I'm gonna fill both these with water, put them in the freezer, and then we're gonna take them back outside later and see how both of them fare. So that's what we're gonna do with that set. And now for this other marker, well, let's get started. I feel the first thing I should do is map this on my plow. We'll give it a couple whacks, see how it fares. And now I get to have a little fun. Let's see if a traffic cone can take out this marker. Well, that wasn't really a good hit, but let's try that again. Nope. Hmm. Let's go a little bit heavier duty. Piece of wood. <laughs> wow. That's uh that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Wow, I'm really surprised that hasn't broke. How about a piece of four by four? Nope. All right, now let's try a piece of steel pipe. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Let's take it inside and see how it really fared. All right, let's do a little bit more testing inside the workshop here. So I have the winter equipment marker that I just had on the plow that I beat the ever-loving daylights out of, and the only damage I see thus far is a little bit of scratching on the housing. But nothing's broke, nothing snapped, the marker's still fully intact. Now what I'm gonna do now is slam it on the table a couple of times, and then I'm gonna slam the hollow tube marker on the table, the one that's already broken, the other half of it is still inside in the freezer icing up so we put some safety equipment on again first is going to be the winter equipment marker still fully intact Let's try this hollow tube marker This thing is literally disintegrating. I mean, what's that tell you about the hollow tube markers? Junk! Junk! Alright, so I have the winter equipment marker, I have the cap off that, and I have the hollow tube marker with cap off that. And real quick, look at the difference in the thickness. This is the winter equipment marker. So a much thicker tube. I, I really like that off the bat, but what we're going to do now is what I like to call the freeze test. So I'm going to fill both these markers up with hot water, put them both in the freezer, then we're going to take them both out, 
when they're fully froze and then we're going to smack them around and see how both of them do. Alright, I just pulled both markers out of the freezer and they were both very frozen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that other marker off my plow, mount these on there, and then we'll give these a couple of whacks and see what happens. Alright, so I had both these snow plow markers all frozen up on the inside. First one I'm going to test is the hollow orange tube. And just as a precaution, I'm going to throw on some safety glasses. So let's see how this marker holds up. Three wax. And quite literally, this thing broke in half. And you can see that I'm not lying that I did freeze these. Now let's go to the other side and see if we can break the winter equipment marker. Nope, it is not breaking. I stopped two times. Once, because the cap literally came off, and I'll show you the marker in a second, that is completely frozen on the inside. And the second time I stopped was because a little fragment of that wooden bat that I was swinging at that thing with broke off. So let me take the camera off the mount, and we'll take a closer look here. All right, so here's a closer look at the winter equipment marker. As you can see, completely froze on the inside. Yeah, that thing's not going anywhere. And there's two reasons why the cap popped off. One is winter equipment actually puts a staple on here, uh, on the cap into the orange marker post. And in order for me to dump water in here, I actually had to remove that staple to take the cap off. So. That's one reason why the cap came off, and secondly, when I put the water in here, you know, water expands as it freezes. As you can see, that cap is about, I don't know, two-thirds full with ice, so the ice actually pushed this cap up and off a bit. So, uh, in the real world, with that staple being in there, that cap will never come off. So, after doing all the tests on these markers today, I think these are an incredible product. I think if I put these on my plow, which of course I'm going to do after today's uh, testing, I think they're going to last the life of the plow, and of course time will tell, so I'll keep updating you as we go along down in the future, but again, from all the impact testing and just the construction of this thing, I mean, it's got a really robust steel uh, bottom mount portion. I mean, this steel is definitely thicker than the competition's. Uh, you have that galvanized steel cable in there, which is really, really, really unlikely to corrode, and it's, it's really not going to corrode because there's no way for water to really get in there with that stapled cap on the top, so... I think they're well designed. I really like the price point. At this point in time, they are cheaper than these hollow POS tube markers. So, uh, you know, they're not at a budget for anybody. I mean, they're, they're really the same cost as any other plow markers on the market. So, all right, before I finish up this video, I want to talk a little bit more about winter equipment. They're not paying me a dime to say this. I, I just want to share with you some of their products because I'm a snow plow enthusiast and I think they offer some cool products that some of you could benefit from out there. So. Uh, winter equipment is really, from my understanding, they, they specialize in uh, steel manufacturing and their, their specific specialty is cutting edge parts on snow plows. Uh, not only the cutting edges, but they also produce a wide array of specific wear parts that will extend the life of the cutting edge of your snow plow. And they offer all types of products, everything from, you know, uh, highway, high speed snow plow wear parts to, um, which they're starting to you know break into the contractor market so for like any basic plows like the plow i have on my truck too 
So I would definitely recommend you check out their website, but they have these cool little diagrams here that kind of explain how the upfront cost of some of these additional snowplow cutting edge wear parts costs more upfront. But when you factor in the amount of time that this will last in the long term, you are actually saving money. In addition to their cutting edges and wear parts, they also sell like snow deflectors, they sell new salt spinning wheels, and of course my favorite, their plow markers. So I definitely recommend you checking out their website. As for the snow plow markers, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. And thanks for watching.